two terabyte hard drives continue to have roughly the best value per gigabyte in terms of mechanical only storage devices. So today I'm going to be looking at these three two terabyte hard drives that I have in my computer. So we've got a Sega 8 Barracuda, which is um, kind of, which I bought as fairly a kind of low cost, sort of semi economy uh, hard drive. So it was about £50 brand new, something like that. Very cheap. And then in the middle, we have a Western Digital Black, which is pretty much their top end uh, consumer uh, drive, intended for gamers and media professionals and things like that. And then on the left, I've got a Western Digital Enterprise 2TB uh, yellow hard drive, which is intended primarily for NASes and sort of long term use as basically an enterprise drive. So it's designed for very, very high use. In terms of specs, all of these are 7200 RPM. They all have 64 megabyte of cache. However, so far as I can find out, the black has a dual core CPU, whereas the um, Enterprise has two CPUs. I don't know exactly what arrangement they've got in them. And while well, the Barracuda doesn't seem to have any particularly special features. Furthermore, the Western Digital Black has stable track technology designed to sort of stabilize the platters and therefore sort of increase lifetime. Whereas the Western Digital Red has a whole array of uh, increased life, especially in vibration heavy environments like you'd find inside a storage server. However, I'm mainly interested in the performance of the drives and how they perform with my workload, which is mainly video editing, video production, as well as um, virtualization. So that basically virtual machines and virtual servers. So I now have the three two terabyte drives installed inside my case here. What I would say is sort your cable management out early. I decided to leave it till afterwards, and I still haven't really done it, and it just makes everything so much harder. And in case you can see another drive up there, you can indeed, it's a half terabyte um, old Sega one which I use for um, multi-booting. So in total there are four mechanical hard drives in here, and I'm actually running out of SATA ports on this uh, motherboard actually, which is kind of a shame. And if we look at disks, we can see that there are no shortage of um, hard disk partitions in this system. The top one along there is the Segate drive. The one below it is the WD Enterprise. And uh, disk number three is the Western Digital Black. So I have now completed disk benchmarks on the three hard drives using Crystal Disk Mark and it is possible to see how on all the tests the Sega drive performs worse than the two Western Digitals although the difference isn't all that major. So say with the sequential test um, the performance difference is not that major and in fact even with the sequential Q32, the performance again is, you know, the Western Digitals do not perform that well. They perform, you know, 40, 30 to 40 megabytes per second faster, which is pretty significant, but um, not, not perhaps as major as I was expecting. Although certainly with the 4K, with the two 4K tests, the Western Digitals are performing around twice as good and um, and certainly in the uh, right performance on the Western Digital Enterprise for the second 4K test it's about three times three times as good so there, there are definitely improvements the Western Digital ones certainly do perform better than the Sega drive does although whether the performance is in areas that you'd whether the performance difference is major in areas that you need it to be is dependent on your usage scenario but I mean certainly in terms of large file performance the Western Digital Black 
with its 171 megabyte per second read and 167 megabyte per second write is the highest performer of the group and just I mean looking at the figures I don't know because um, like the Western Digital Enterprise performs actually very very well on the 4K Q32 so I guess it really depends on how you wish to use the drives but certainly the Western Digital Enterprise and the Western Digital Black both perform very very well and the Sega is no slouch especially when you consider its entry level price point so I guess completely to be expected, my conclusion from this experiment is, is if you're an average kind of home media gamer producer user, I'd recommend going for the Western Digital Black. Whereas if you've got a lot of hard drives or crave 4K file performance, then definitely the WD Enterprise. But of course if you're de if you're definitely looking for economy or looking to produce potentially a big RAID 0 setup, then I don't really see much harm in going for the Sega drives. Although, I mean, I have had people say to me that their Sega drives have, say, uh, failed earlier than that they would expect. But in reality, I mean, I've got loads of Sega drives. Pretty much every drive in this house is a Sega before I decided to buy Western Digitals. And we've had no failure problems whatsoever. So, um, certainly, I wouldn't um, discount Sega just based on reliability rumours.